How can you make a really simple stream setup? That is one of the questions I got most from our customers. And today I'm using the InnoGenie shared to you. So InnoGenie provided me with a box for some testing and I thought I want to give it a try. So right now I've connected a simple USB camera to the InnoGenie box, but I also connected my PC. So in many cases, people want to do a really simple streaming setup, but they want to have the full ability to choose how the setup should be. And in this case, I can then change to my presentation and it's simple, a box that I can choose. So I can do whatever I want to do. I can choose between the simple inputs. So on the share to you, we got two inputs, either USB, or HDMI. So I could also use an HDMI camera. So in this case where I want to have my full screen picture and then the presentation on top, then I can simply do it like this, or I can even switch between the two. So if I hit this box, then I would switch between the simple setup so I can have my full screen presentation and still my camera within the view of the people that I talk with. I could also do a side by side. So in this case, I would have a more equivalent setup where I'm still in focus and people can still see my presentation. I can still drag through my presentation and talk about the different work styles and have how we have been changing the way that we work. Or I can even do like this and then I would have more focus on the presentation, but still be in the view. So when I talk about something that is more complicated, for instance, on the next slide, then I can basically choose to go to not the camera, but the presentation. So it's a really simple touch uh, buttons that I can choose from. So I can easily change the between the slides, even though I'm doing a presentation at the same time. So for instance, if I hit the side by side button and I would like to be in the other side of the screens, then I can simply switch between the two screens or the emulation of two screens. This is a really cool device. There's no drivers needed at all. I simply plugged it into my PC, added the USB camera and plugged in my laptop. I'm using OBS for the recording, but I could also be using a streaming platform like Microsoft Teams. So the only thing that you need to consider is if you're using this box within a Teams meeting, you will still only get one frame within that meeting. So you need to spotlight yourself to make sure that everybody is getting the full view of you. But if you're using live stream in Teams, this will be a great box to use because then you don't need to use the producer role. You can simply have the Inigini box and do everything from the Inigini box while you're presenting. So going back to my presentation, going back to my live view, do it side by side or even as picture in a picture. I mean, this is a great device. You can even add it to a Microsoft Teams rooms. So another question that I get is, I want to use Microsoft Teams, but I want to have two video feeds from the same room. This is simply not possible for Microsoft Teams rooms today. You can connect two uh, cameras, but you can't show them at the same time. So I'm going to do a test adding a second camera on HDMI. It could be a USB camera as well, but I just want to try it out with my HDMI camera. So I'll give that a go. Now I've added my second camera. So I'm still using the USB camera in front of me. And then I've added the HDMI camera, which I have just next to me. So this one is running through the HDMI into the Inigini Share to You box. And I can do everything manually on this camera. And swipe it around, maybe do a follow focus and stuff like that. But in this case, I just want to show you, for instance, a town hall meeting 
where people are requesting two video feeds from the same um, from the same meeting at the same time with the same account. So here I can switch between the cameras so I can add the second camera and then look into this camera or I could even follow that specific speaker at this time. So this will mean that I can now get two video feeds so I can switch between the camera. That is the exact same that you can do with in Teams rooms on Windows. But most people are also asking me to add a second camera. So they want two video feeds at the same time. So here you can do it picture in picture. You can also do it side by side. So in this case, you would have the full view of the speaker and you could have the camera on the audience as well. You can then switch between how you want it set up. So you could have like a larger focus on the one that speaks or could even switch between the two cameras and then I can be the speaker at this camera. Everything is handled really, really nice from the InnoGenie box. So you don't need to add any drivers or stuff like that. You could basically just plug in your cameras and get it straight out of the box. So this is a really nice box. You can do it either from your PC that I'm using right now, recording everything inside uh, OBS. But I can't also use this as a camera within Microsoft Teams. Or even better, use it at a Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows. Then you can plug in the Ingenie box and choose that as a camera within the box. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you out. This video is not sponsored by Inogenie, but Inogenie provided me with the box for this testing. Uh, basically, I've seen this in a genie box in, at a customer's and I really wanted to test out how the functioning was and how easy it was to set everything up. So they haven't seen the video. They didn't want to, oh, I didn't ask them. I just recorded the video, so no strings attached, but I just want to be clear with that Inodini provided me this box, but I am still crazy in love with it. It's so cool. Thank you so much for watching. See you out there. Bye.